Let's take a look at the first clip, what you see here. Um, and, and you say similar scheme. Well, what you have here with the, uh, with the Bills, Bills, Bills run a lot of two tight ends. So they got Dawson Knox, they got uh, Kincaid, uh, and then they got their fullback, uh, Reggie Gillum, who, you know, depending if you th treat him as a fullback, it's 22 personnel, or if it's a tight end, it's 13 personnel. But it's the same thing the Browns run. So this is just a quick out. Uh, Allen reads the blitz coming. Uh, he's going to be very well coached. Dorsey's a very a very analytical analytical guy. You know, he's 38-2 as a starter at Miami, Florida. He's very, very smart. Pre-snap, post-snap reads. So Deshaun is going to know exactly where he's supposed to go with the, uh, with the ball at all times. Here he reads the blitz. Uh, coming and, and he's going to make that check down. He's going to throw that quick out to the to the tight end here. But again, this is 13 personnel or 22 personnel. But what I like to think is there's there's three big guys at back and a receiver, regardless of how you look at it. And they get into three by one. And this is something Kevin Stefanski does all a lot. It's getting these big tight end sets and and get into formations that creates mismatches for him. So if you're not going to be a heavy motion guy, you're going to be a heavy formation guy. And Dorsey and Stefanski, they're heavy, they're heavy, heavy formation guys. Um, so this is big personnel, just like the Browns run. Two tight ends, three tight ends, getting in multiple sets. All right, um, you, you mentioned it, um, mismatches and matchups. That's, that's kind of the, uh, the goal of motion. Take us through this clip and what you see here relative to matchups. Well, again, so this is the same personnel. This is actually the very next play. So the, the very next play is... They're gonna get in a tight three tight end set. Same people though. Still Dalton, uh, still Kincaid, um, still Knox, still Gary Sears, still the same people. But now they're gonna get in a power run set. What this does is that it's gonna force a defense. You're gonna bring in nickel. They're gonna run the ball at you. If you're gonna bring in regular personnel, they're going to, um, they're gonna spread you out and throw the ball. And they're gonna find matchups and put their key guys in certain spots. So again, this is the same for. This is the very next play. And it, the Dolphins now, they just got to pass it. Now they get a heavy run set. So this is something very similar to what the Browns do. Uh, Dorsey, um, Stefanski, they're, they're going to be on the same page here when they, when they get uh, in, the, in the building together. All right, so um, you saw those two. What do you see out of this? Again, 22 personnel. What do you see out of this? Well, here's what you got. So, you know, everybody, I, I've been asked all week since his hiring, what's the run game? So he's going to run a little tackle dart. Uh, they're going to put, for the most part, for me, the run game is not a scheme. The run game is a philosophy. So you're either base blocking the guy in front of you, down blocking, reaching a guy, doubling a guy, or pulling. There's one of five things you do in the run game. The scheme is irrelevant. It's your philosophy behind it. And Stefanski and Dorsey are physical run guys. They want to vertically displace those guys downhill. So you're going to get some tweaks um, from Dorsey with this duo concept. Uh, he runs a little tackle trap. Um, they're going to do some different things, but the philosophy is the same. So he is going to bring some new life on some run schemes, but this is a downhill attacky run game uh, from the Cleveland Browns, and that's going to continue with Dorsey. All right, so, um, the next one, um, as we move on the next clip, um, it's another thing that the Browns do a lot of. So here's what you got. So here's what here's here's why this clip is so good. So it's second and six. So the Browns always want to stay above uh, ahead of the sticks. And what that does is if you stay ahead of the six, second and six, you have a 50-50 shot here. You can get runner pass 50-50 at second and six. So what that does to make it, it makes the defense play base because they got to honor the run. So then you can get those matchups outside with Cooper. This is the play the Browns run. This is a deep comeback. Uh, Diggs is running this, but if you can just imagine Cooper running this, we've seen this this fall where Cooper ran this for a touchdown as well. So again, second six, hard play action, deep comeback, uh, throws that Deshaun Watson can make, uh, routes that Cooper can run. Um, so this is something, again, very similar. Um, they want to get to second six. These guys who are uh, formation guys and by the book guys, they want to get, they want to stay ahead of the six. So they, 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 they're dictating what's going on, not the defense. All right. So um, the other thing that you know we talked a little bit about is uh, red zone and, and third down. Um, take us through this next clip. What you see here. All right. So this is a really cool play. So they're going to run. They're going to run. Uh, Orbit motion here, and dark, when he goes in motion, you're going to see um, Josh Allen pump that uh, pump that bubble, and then they're going to run a little wheel uh, post wheel concept here with Gabe Davis. And what really works here is that if you watch throughout the year, um, I got a chance to watch most of the games from 2022 and just about the, all the games from last year. Is they run this play a lot where they're going to throw that screen right there, 
And when they throw that screen, that force guy's got to come up. So just enough. So uh, 20 comes up just enough where Gabe Davis is going to sell the run, run the wheel. And the key is that the outside receiver is going to take the corner and the safety to that side. But again, because he sets up plays. So the point being is that just like Stefanski, they're going to set up plays early in games, early in the year. And then they're going to come back to him later in games and later in the year where they're going to they're going to have plays off those plays. So they really like to build on stuff that they do throughout the year. All right. Um, in the final clip um, that we're going to take a look at again um, in the red zone, what you what do you see in this one? Well, see, this is uh, so this is interesting. So one of the things that was interesting with the hire was, um, you know, Dorsey was Cam Newton's uh, quarterback coach during his MVP 2015 season. He was all, Josh Allen was uh, third in the MVP voting in 2022. And what I found interesting is that those guys are a little bit different than Deshaun Watt. These guys, you know, Cam and, and Allen are huge men. These are heavy guys that run like fullbacks. That's not Deshaun Watts. So this run game is going to be a little bit different because this is just a power run here. So this is the, this is two for one. So Dorsey and Stefanski are very creative in what they do in the run game. And they'll do this with, uh, you know, you saw the Browns do this. Uh, if you go back to um, Watson scoring against the Saints in that really, really cold game. So this QB run game gives you an extra guy in the run game that they both like to use. So if you go back to Cam, to Allen, now to Deshaun, they're going to be able to use this quarterback run game. And one of the things they like to do is run this dart. So you're going to see the backside tackle pull. And what it does, it allows the Browns guards to stay in there. The Browns usually pull their guards. With Dorsey, they're going to pull their tackles a little bit on this dart uh, tackle trap. So again, just a Inside the red zone, third down, uh, medium. They're very creative. They they work on it hard in practice. You know, there's uh, every day that I'm down there at camp. There's a number of sessions, third, medium, red zone, uh, where they're you know that's where you make your money. You got to score touchdowns and not kick field goals, and you got to be able to continue drives in third, medium. And both Dorsey and Stefanski are outstanding at doing this. And one of the ways they do that is by running the quarterback. 